adding three numbers that are two digits. Lesson 5.12. Well, now that we know how to add two two-digit numbers together, we can add more. We know that we can stack them on top of each other like this. To add 15 plus 13, we just add the ones column. 5 plus 3 is 8, and then we add the tens column. It's a 2. It's 28. And we also know that when we add the ones column first, 7 plus 5, which equals 12, we regroup the 1 from the 12 to the tens place, and we put the 2 down there, and then we add the tens column, right? Well, we can add three two-digit numbers the same way. We add the ones place first. We regroup to the tens place if needed, and then we add the tens. We want to remember to be on the lookout for friendly numbers that will equal 10. So if you look at this column right here of the ones place, we can see that 7 plus 3 is equal to 10. So they're friendly. We can add that first, 7, 8, 9, 10. Now we can just add the 5 and get 15. It goes much quicker when we do the friendly numbers first. We regroup the 1 from the 15 into the tens column, and we put the 5 into the ones column. Now we just add the tens, 2, 3, 4, 5. 15 plus 17 plus 23 is equal to 55. So let's try that, and let's keep a lookout for friendly numbers. So I made it easy for you because I made the friendly numbers blue. So we're going to add the friendly numbers first in the ones column. 8, 9, 10. Now we can just add the 4. It's a 14. It's easy to add a number to a 10. Now we can just add the tens place. 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. 94. Let's try it again. You can see that we have a couple of friendly numbers here in the ones place, a 6 and a 4. That equals 10. Now we can just add the 17. See? When you, you have a 10 and we add a 7, it's just 17, isn't it? Because of the 0 in the 1's place, so that's easy. We put our regrouped 1 in the 10's place. We put our 7 down here. We add the 10's, and we have 3, 4, 5. Let's try it again. Do you think we need to regroup in this one? We have a 5, a 0, and a 2. 5, 6, 7. No, we don't need to regroup. 5 and 1 is 6. That was an easy one, wasn't it? Let's look at this one. We have two friendly numbers, a 7 and a 3. 7, 8, 9, 10. We add the 8, we get an 18. We add the 10s. 7 and 1 is 8. It equals 88. Let's try another one. Do you remember this from Chapter 4? Counting by 25s, just like their quarters, this could be three quarters, couldn't it? 25, 50, 75? Well, let's add them the regular way. We know 5 plus 5 is 10, so these two make a 10, don't they? And then 5 more would be 15. We could even count by 5s. 5, 10, 15. We regroup the 1, put the 5 down, we add the 10s, we can skip count by 2, 2, 4, 6, 7. See? Do we need to regroup in this one? Well, there's just a 9 and some zeros, so it's just a 9, isn't it? 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, we have a 69. Let's try another one. You see the friendly numbers in blue? 9, 10, and now we just add the 2. We had a 10, and we're just adding a 2, aren't we? That's easy. That's a 12, isn't it? So we regroup the 1, put the 2 down. Now we add the 10's place, 6, 7, 8, 9. We have 92. Let's try it again. Do you see the friendly numbers? And they're not always next to each other. You might have to stretch down your column to find them. 5 and 5 is 10, plus 4 more is 14. We add the 10's place, 
3, 4, 5, 6, 7. We have 74. So keep your eyes open for friendly numbers like 5 and 5 or 7 and 3 or 8 and 2 or 6 and 4 so that you can just make a 10 real fast, okay? Let's talk about some mental math. We can do math by thinking of addition. We picture the equation in our head. This works very well when the numbers are compatible. That means friendly. Or if there's few ones or no ones. Look at this. 50 plus 12 plus 10. Can you do that in your head without writing anything? What we do is, because there's only two ones here, we set that off to the side. The 12 is the only add-in with numbers in the ones place. So we add the tens in our head, 50, 60, 70, and then we put the two in the ones place. So we think 50, 60, 70, 72. It's actually easier to do mental math when you start with the larger numbers first. Okay? But it's easier to do it if there's no or just a couple ones or maybe just one number that has numbers in the ones place. Okay? All right. So that's adding three two-digit numbers. We're going to continue on and talk about some more problem solving. You're going to get really good at doing word problems. All right? I'll see you next video. Bye.